everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to start off by apologizing for the video quality at the beginning of the video. I'm playing with some new equipment that I got and I'm still trying to figure it out. So I apologize. It does get better later on. <laughs> For the month of May, I decided to take the quote, it's gonna be May, and do a play on that. My cover page will be a pull tab flip discman <laughs> that you will see. The tutorial is actually very simple and straightforward. You can find it on the pop-up channel, which I'll link in the cards here. But along with a discman, I've also included gramophones, turntables, Walkmans, and iPods as well. These stickers will be available to purchase in my shop and also as free downloads to my From Blank to Brilliant library subscribers. So if you're interested, you can click on the link to my blog down below and sign up to get access to that. But for May, I used my same layouts that I've been using since I think middle of last year. And I just put a musical play on it, which you will see. For my supplies, I'm using an Archer and Olive A5 dot grid notebook. I'm using the Archer and Oliver Acrylographs in pink, orange yellow, robin's egg blue, black, cool gray, white and silver. i have also trying the Pigeon Letters Monoline drawing pens which I just purchased them and I will tell you they are amazing. They write over top of the acrylographs without a problem and without picking up any residue. And this portion of the video I included because I wanted to show you how smoothly the acrylographs go on regardless of the paper. Here I have white paper, blackout paper, and then I have clear tape. And I went in with the second layer over top, which I actually did throughout the entire journal whenever I used the acrylographs, and you could barely tell. It was pretty fantastic to have that, so I was really impressed. Now for the rest of my layout, I also used Pentel Touch brush pens that I use to do my weekly. I used my basic washi in my shop, Natasha Malaleta's basic washi collection in black. I'll link that down below so that you can check that out. And then one of my new favorite supplies for 2021 is the Helix Circle Stencil that you can find off of Amazon. I will link that down below as well. And I also ended up grabbing my Artex gouache paints because I needed to cover a larger surface area and I was able to blend them to the acrylograph colors, which is fantastic. Now for the younger generation, this is a Discman. It used to play CDs and the best thing we had to portable music at the time. And I am coloring in some wired headphones. And also I draw a CD just to add some more visual interest into my layout. My colors for May are a teal blue color, a golden yellow, and then I was aiming for hot pink, but none of the supplies I had had anything remotely close to a hot pink. So I just went with the pink in the tropical selection of the acrylographs, and it actually ended up working out nicely. I then just added these pops of colors throughout my layouts which was actually super fun <laughs> and unfortunately I didn't capture some of what I did so on this front page I lettered it's gonna be and then on the CD I wrote May so for those of you that know and remember back in the day when we used to painstakingly label our CDs whether we named them something special or if we named them for when we made them so I did mess up here and I just grabbed my white acrylograph to fill in the spot that I didn't want. Now again this is my first time using the Pigeon Letters monoline pens and I am absolutely blown away. They don't fade when you erase over top of them. They write over mediums perfectly. It didn't pull up any of the medium and then lose its own color and it stayed so vibrant throughout everything I was doing which was fantastic. So this is my new play on a calendar page. I wanted to make it look like a line of music so I'll just draw lines extending out and writing anything of particular importance for the month there. So here's an example of the stickers that I used. The music notes I drew by hand, but I am including some in my sticker sets. 
and then there's the iPod and the CD as well. This next page is my Habit Tracker page. This is the amazing circle stencil that I've pretty much used nonstop since I bought it in March. <laughs> so this I strongly recommend. I wanted to get kind of fun with it and decided to do a turntable and have my habits be the LP or the record. And it was okay. This page took a really long time. I started coloring in with my acrylographs, but I didn't want to use up all the ink just on this one thing. <laughs> So that's when I grabbed my gouache paints and just mixed the color to the acrylograph color and it actually went by really quickly. As I feel most of my layouts have been this year, a lot of it was just waiting for the paint to dry. <laughs> And this is the finished turntable. Now I'm going in with my monoline pen and just cleaning up the sides a little bit. I did use paint on the border as well, so it didn't come out quite as straight as I wanted to, but it was easy just to fill in with the acrylographs where I needed to. On the left hand side of the page where I have the half record, I will be writing my focus for the month in that black circle using a white, either an acrylograph or a jelly roll, I haven't quite decided yet. And as always, I'm adding my borders. In April, I kept my borders just black throughout the month and I really liked it. And especially with the feel that I was going for for my May layout, which was kind of 80s or if you remember the Apple commercials when they were selling the iPods with the figures dancing with the white headphones and the bright iPod colors. And so that's kind of what I was aiming for with these layouts. This is my brain dump page for May. I decided to call it sheet music instead of brain dump, which may be a little bit cheesy, but I was very proud of myself when I came up with the idea. So I just ran with it. I ended up going over top of the yellow two or three times, I think, just to get it perfectly opaque because you could still see the pencil underneath the first couple layers. So I just went over with more layers and ended up burying that pencil line, which was great. I also go in and I outline the words just because I think it makes it look more crisp and clean. And here is where I grab my washi tape. And again, I'm, I sell this washi tape in my shop in a set of four. They come in black, gray and caramel. And that is a cassette tape and a CD and then I'm just going to go in and color them in to match my theme overall. The pauses you see, I'm basically waiting for it to dry a little bit so that I can go in and add more color where needed. I do love the acrylographs, however, when the tip is drying out, it becomes scratchy and it can end up scratching paint off if you don't wait long enough for it to dry. So you just have to be patient. And this is my first weekly layout for May. 
I decided to go back to doing just something simple. In April, I did more elaborate weekly layouts. And while that was a lot of fun, I feel like I'm running out of time <laughs> to get everything done that I need to. So I just ended up going with tried and true and keeping it simple. Now the calendar stamps are available in my store as well. So you can also just go and grab those. It comes with two sets of stamps and it's basically everything you'd need to build a calendar forever. <laughs> and I separate 30 days and 31 days. And then I also included stamps that have a Monday start and a Sunday start. So depending on how you like to plan. So this is where I went in and lettered with my Pentel touch brush pens. I really forgot how much fun they are to letter with. And so it was great to use those guys again. And in my flip through that's coming up, you will see that I changed out my washi. Now that washi strip will be available in my shop as well, but I ended up matching it to my previous layouts where I just did the black washi and the grid washi. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to leave you here to watch the rest of the setup and the flip through in peace. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to reach out down below. And as always, thank you so much for your time today.